Hi! <laughs> Guess who's back? Hello everyone! I'm sorry for not posting for a while. Today we are working on meshes! Have you ever thought of that? Meshes are so important in rigging, yet I don't think I've ever seen a tutorial specific on this more in depth, so today that's what we are gonna do. Before we start, remember that I stream on Twitch basically every day at 3 p.m. GMT plus 2. If you want, feel free to come. I will be super happy to answer your question or just if you want to see my process. And also remember that this tutorial is part of my how to live to the playlist where I show you how to make your VTuber model from zero to finish. I have eyes tutorial, mouth tutorial, tongue rig, eyebrows, head XY, body XY, everything you could ever need. Feel free to check this out and I assure you that after watching this whole playlist you will have a fully rigged model. And we can start already. We were looking at the two main tools that we have right here uh, for making our meshes. One is the automatic mesh generator and the other one is to edit the meshes manually. We're gonna need to use them both. Let's check first of all the automatic mesh. Uh, one big tip that you can use to make your mesh better is just to click this solo button so you can see all of your element right here. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the first that we are gonna look at. Some objects are gonna come out better with this automatic mesh by default, but here we have a lot of numbers that we can change to make our mesh look better. So, uh, let's go in order. Uh, this one, the lower you make it, basically the more detailed your mesh will be. That's how we can put it. Boundary margin outside is basically just uh, how close this outside line is to your art. So if you increase it, as you can see, it goes more far away. As you decrease it, it comes closer. This is a very, very useful tool. If you tweak these numbers, you are able to create in a very few seconds a very good mesh instead of having to do it manually. And so this one, this one instead, is a little bit like the thickness of the border. As you can see, usually when you use the automatic mesh, it creates you a border all around and then it fills the middle. This just is the thickness of this border. These two, I don't really use them a lot. Sometimes if uh, your um, if you have a lot of very small triangles by decreasing this one, you might be able to fix it. But we already got a very good mesh. So this automatic mesh, you'd probably use it on objects that one, don't need a ton of deformation because uh, one object that needs a lot of deformation, like for example the lashes, you need to use the manual one. So, objects that are not gonna def deform that much, objects that are rounder, don't have uh, particular shapes. If you have uh, shapes that are very intricate, maybe some uh, golden jewelry very intricate is not gonna work very well. Okay, there we go. Sometimes your mesh will do this very annoying thing where it's quite good. The triangles are even, spaced, spaced out, quite good. But then there are some sections where it goes crazy, like super small triangles instead of nice and even. To fix this, you can go to boundary margin outside. This is a little trick. Bring it to the maximum, which is 50. Okay, now close this, open it again, click standard again, and as you can see it's gone, completely gone, and your mesh is quite much better than it was. This is a little trick. And this is actually all for the automatic mesh. So now we can go to the manual one. The manual uh, mesh editor is a little bit more uh, complex, so we can go through all of the little boxes that we have here that we can use uh, for our meshes. So this is uh, simply the arrow tool that you can just use to drag around stuff. This is the lasso tool that you can use if you want to select multiple 
vertices all together, you just drag and that's it. This is to add the new dots. Uh, let's say you, you know, just add new dots. This just deletes dots. This is the um, this is this is the eraser. If you uh, want to, to delete multiple dots, you just drag. If you want to change its size, hold B and drag left and right, and you're gonna change its size. So uh, this other tool, I don't really use it a lot. What it does is basically this. Wait, let me show you a little example better. So let's say that I have um, a mesh that is like this. And I would like to make a, put, to put more detail in it. I just drag this across and it adds more detail. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this tool because I prefer to have more control. As you saw, this is quite, quite, quite random. And I honestly don't like it. So the tool that I use the most when making uh, meshes is this one. You can place some dots and as you can see what it does, it creates you this path of mesh along uh, your dots that you are placing. What I usually do is go to number of vertices in, in the mesh width and put three. So it gives me this nice little pointy shape here. And here, very simply, you can uh, drag this one to make it thicker or thinner and drag this one to make it more detailed or less detailed. So uh, one thing that I usually do, you might say, you might think, but this one is not, it's not as detailed as I want to. It's only, it only has two rows of triangles, right? So the trick is to Make your triangles very wide here, not too wide, quite wide. Then confirm it and click for division. As you can see now, we have four rows of triangles. Make sure that not to have your repeated density here too low. Wait, I have to redo it. Um, make it sure not to have it too low. Otherwise, when you click for division, it's going to be a mess. The theory behind the four division is just like this. If I have a square and I hit four division, from one square, it creates four squares. That, that's literally it. And it works in a way that if you already made your mesh and you needed more detail, you just click four division and that's it. <laughs> Sorry. So going back to this tool. So as we said, we make it something like this. Uh, let's say that you say, but this part here is very wide, I want it uh, thinner, hold the control and drag the side of this yellow circle. And as you can see, that's what's going to happen. Now you can drag this other side to make it bigger, maybe. And as simple as that, in a couple seconds, we created the perfect mesh for our eyebrow. This works for uh, smaller thingies, but you can use it also for uh, bigger meshes. Let me show you an example with the, the eyes first before we move on bigger meshes. And sometimes you want to go come here and uh, Fix a little bit manually, you know, like that. You have a very good mesh for your top lash. Uh, so this tool that I showed you, uh, you can also use it for bigger stuff, or maybe also, I don't know, this braid. And how we do it, you you might notice that if you come here, beep, boop, boop, bringing this to maximum sometimes is not big enough. As you can see, it's not wide enough and it's not letting me go more than 200. What you do? Little trick, same thing as before. Hold control and make this bigger. This makes you go over the 200 limit that you have here. 
And like this, we we can literally use this. I literally use this for every mesh almost. Uh, it's super fast, super easy. It's the best tool that they could ever add. Like that, as you can see. For division again. And I have a very good mesh for this one. Again, and now you might uh, want, I don't know, to come here and edit this. Maybe delete this because uh, we don't need it. I don't know. Uh, maybe here also we don't need this one you you can also then do a little edit manually but after starting with this you already have a very good base for it it's probably a good idea to, to to know how to make meshes properly so if this video was helpful for you remember to share it with your friends <laughs> and leave a like comment if you have any problems and Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye bye. Remember to subscribe as well. Bye bye.